putting a thing in your food for them. Those are the broilers right there, those big white ones. And um, as you can see, they're huge. Well, we're not we're not giving them any special food to make them fat or anything, so they're just eating normal chicken food. So, I don't want them to like have a heart attack or anything and die of overeating. So what I was saying before I started getting pecked by the chickens, I just put my eggs down here every day. So that you put the eggs over here every day so they don't um, crush them. And then on the weekend, I just take them and clean and package them. There's a bunch in here. See? That one's full of eggs. This one is almost full. Is there any eggs in here? Oh, no eggs in there. No eggs in there. So, yeah. Today we got like 15 eggs. And, uh. Okay guys, we're about to put these chicks outside for the first time and let them roam around. So I have these little milk crates right here. I'm probably going to make these into chicken nesting boxes. Let me just pull up my wood shaving. Get that table. I can grab them. As you can see, their food's finished today, so I might as well just take them out let them have some grass and clean up this thing while they're out there because I didn't clean it out yet. My favorite breeds of chickens are Rhoda and Reds, and um, these are Ocelorps. I love Ocelorps, they're like the best brown egg laying chickens. I have one Brahma, I had a bunch more Brahmas, but I sold them to people, one of them, my customers. And these are Sexling chickens right here. They're good brown egg layers too. They got, um, they got a bunch of Delawares too. These ones are, are Delawares, see them right there? It's a Delaware. It's an Ocelorp. And, um, I have some, what are these, Bard Rocks, or Plymouth Bard Rocks. Those are nice. This one is actually a bonus chick right here. So I'm not sure what it is. I'm gonna try to find it out. I mean, it looks like a. I don't know what it is. I can't tell. Yo, chill, chill. Grab the other uh, thing. There's another one right there. Another milk box. Milk crate. I mean, right there under, under the. There. Yeah. Right over here. On top of them. So they don't try to hop out. Put like 10 at a time. I have like 65 of these. I had 80 like 88 at the beginning and I sold a bunch and three of them died one of them died accidentally because they getting crushed one of them died on the first day because it was sick and then I have this little guy here this this one I have no, I no idea what's wrong with him he's been acting up for a couple weeks now not acting up but as you can see his head is like low like that I don't know what's wrong with him I'm going to try to find out but I make sure every day he's good I mean, he just hurt when he's a baby. It's another one of the extra tricks he gave me. And um, another Delaware. And here's another. This is another extra trick game they gave me. Maya Hatchery and Murray McMurray are the two hatcheries I got them got these chickens from. This one is from Murray McMurray. This one right here. It came with all the Oshlorps. I bought 50 Oshlorps. Here's a here's a rooster. Put a little leg band on him. And they, they even painted the bottom of him. But I think that will go away. And um, I'll show you guys what it looks like after I put all the rest of them inside the outside in their cage. They seem pretty confused. They're like stuck in this corner over here. I don't know why. Like they're trying to get through something. I don't know what they're doing. Some over here. Mm. The the bigger chickens don't really care. Well, the the ostlers, they're they're nice. But, oh yeah, look at him, he's already eating. Ain't that crazy? He found, the, he found where the food is at. They took him like, oh, there's one dude in here too? Yep. Oh my god, that was fast. They're already in here. 
eating food with the older chickens. I don't know if that's good for them, but eating it. And um, they make this mess every day. The chickens, you gotta clean it up again. They, they, they dig all the shavings from the rabbits. I have to add more shavings into this so it doesn't make smell. Here's, a, here's some babies in here. You gotta give them some water. Some more babies. Oh, you guys. This mama. Hello. This one. This little cute one. It has one little white paw. Where is it at? Look that little white paw. Call you lucky. Look at the black one. Cute. Listen. He's acting like he's all old and stuff. Chilling on the beach. Oh, this one too has a white paw. Nice. And, um, my chickens made a mess in here. They actually raided the garbage can or garbage bag. And here, I have this cute little rabbit. It's her, it's her baby right here. And then, oh, he's a little munchkin or sheep, whatever it is. Look at that little thing. So cute. She only had one baby. I wanna see if it runs around next. See. Oh, that's really good shit, dude. Run around there. Look at him. He's gonna eat some grass. He's kinda confused. You see all these little chicks running around. <laughs> this is his first time eating grass. Look at him. He's actually really tiny. He's the same size as the chicks. Or tinier than chicks, actually. <laughs> Sad. Oh. The peacock's pretty confused. Come on, little dude. Where are you going? Come here. Hold this little. Oh, oh. Come here. Put your nice. <laughs> it's a face off between the rabbit and the chick. What's it? It's my favorite one. I like the coloring on this one. It's like a silverish gray. I'm maybe going to keep him or her so I can have a good breed line and um, if it becomes loyal enough to me I'll let it out like the other big rabbits that stay here they don't really leave excuse me they're actually over here they're these guys that's Jeff hello Jeff hello Jeff and then his wife well he has plenty of wives There you go. You just relax her. The chicks are in this corner already, scratching around. And these are the ones. These are my. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I got them for the auction. I might let them run around my backyard. Cause it's, they're getting kind of big for the cage. Well, this one. This one doesn't get that big. It's a dwarf. Hey, say, say still, buddy. He's a male. He's nice. I'm trying to make them more nice. They weren't that friendly when I got them, but now they're getting. See, like, they're kind of hesitant to, like, let me touch them. But they're becoming a little bit nice. Every day, I come pet them. They're scared. See them? As I make, this is a kind of tiny cage room. It's like a four by two cage with, like, six rabbits in there. I don't know how many. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's tiny. I have to make a bigger cage for them. I feel kind of bad for them. But I don't want them to fight with the big male. These ones... I'm gonna sell them probably soon. They're getting to the age. And I'll let the mom run around again. I only keep them when they have babies in the cage. So, sometimes the cages will be empty. And that's just because they had their babies. I sold all the babies. And now I let them run around, eat some grass and stuff. The way I keep all my animals here is I always just feed them. Ooh, I stepped on a chick. Everywhere. They're loud too. What's the rabbit? I'm gonna call him Munchkin. What's up, Munchkin? <laughs> Look at these little guys. So they seem pretty seem, seem pretty happy. I made this. I put this chicken wire all around because the last batch of chicks like they kept getting through the the no wire I have here. So I put chicken wire on the whole bottom. On the whole bottom of the thing, my backyard. So they can't escape this part. 
except for the new part I put here, the door. So today I might be putting um, some mesh on this. Cause I made this like a place where if I get like a goat or I don't know, any other thing, I can pet them like a little petting zoo kind of thing. But I don't know, for now, I have to cover the bottom so you don't escape from here. Okay, some nice ostrips. It's okay, buddy, I don't do anything. They're nice. Pretty friendly. All the chicks are in this corner over here. I'm gonna give them some water today. And this, this big feeder. Oh, look at this guy. What's up, Watch your munchkin. Come here, boy. Or girl, whatever you are. Oh, you're a little, you're a little fuzzball. <laughs> and, um, if you guys were wondering about the peacock, this peacock is not mine. It's somebody else's peacock. His name is Blue. And, uh, they asked me to take care of it for a couple months. Because I think they they went out of the country. Out of the country. So, yeah. I don't know, they're here now. Hello. I'm about to give these guys some water. So you're not thirsty. And some grass. And hay. And I'm going to clean this floor because it's really messy in here. Well, it's basically these two bags. Get over here, the trash. I'm supposed to get all that trash out. Little meat chickens. I'm going to eat them soon. They're, uh, what's it called? Cornish cross chickens. That, that's a Cornish cross chicken right there. I collected the eggs today already. And, um, well, that's pretty much it for today. So guys, have a nice weekend. And peace.